Hello and welcome back to Gapy's Garden. Today we're going to start planting the seeds that we germinated in the paper towels into a seed starting mix. I'm going to put some gloves on. This can get kind of messy. So first thing we need to do is prepare our potting mix. So I like to use the Jiffy seed starting mix for seedlings. I've tried other brands but this one just seems to do better. Now this is really a very dry uh, soil or potting mix. So before we plant any seeds in this, we need to moisten it up a little bit. So I have a, a gallon of water here. I'm not going to use the whole gallon, but this is some lukewarm or room temperature water. We just want to put it in and then mix it up. You can use your hand or a shovel or a little rake. I'm just going to use my hand today. And you want it to be not dripping wet, but it needs to be a little bit moist. I think that's the perfect amount. So now I'm going to use these four packs for the seeds. And I'll just put one seed in each. We're going to fill that up with the seed starting mix. You don't want to pack it down too hard, but it, it needs to be just lightly packed into the cells. Okay. Okay, we're ready to get the seeds into the potting mix. Um, if some of these that have the longer roots are actually growing into the paper towel, I like to use a toothpick to try and get them out of the paper towel. If it if it's not budging or if you're afraid you're going to break the root, then don't don't force it. What you can do is just cut around the paper towel, and you can plant the paper towel in with the seed, and there's no problem with that. But first, we're gonna make some small holes, about a half an inch deep, in the middle of each cell. So the ones that I've freed from the paper towel, I can just use my finger to gently pick it up and just be careful not to damage the roots. And you want the root to be facing downwards. So drop it into the hole. And if it falls the wrong way, you can use the toothpick to put it down so that the root is facing down. So that's one. Right, and then you could just use your fingers to close up the hole. Now the rest of these, it looks like they have some roots just barely poking out. So I'm going to actually leave these on the heat mat a little bit longer. And I'm going to give them a little bit of water. Be sure to put your label in. Okay. So now that those are in the potting mix or in the seed starting mix, what you can do, or what I'm going to do, is leave them here on this heat mat, but I'm going to cover it with this. Actually, first I'm going to give it a little bit more water. because they need a lot of humidity and water to finish germinating and come out of the soil. And once they poke out of the soil, then I'll move these over to my, my light setup. So I'm just gonna put this over the top so that it holds the humidity. And I'll be sure to check on it every day, make sure it doesn't get dried out. Alright, let's check on the peppers. So 
it's been two days since I put them in the seed starting mix. And it looks like these two have started coming out of the soil, so we want to get these under the lights as soon as possible so they don't get leggy. This is the Brazilian starfish, and this is the Carolina reaper. So we have three coming up in here, and it looks like three coming up in here. Now I do have a heat mat under this too because it's kind of cool in this room, so the more heat the better. And then we want to make, I'm just using fluorescent shop lights. Now you want the light to be really close to the seedlings because if they're not, then they'll get very leggy and you don't want that. So I'm going to lower the light just so it's about an inch or two above the seedling. this side too. You'll need to check it and raise the lights as they grow. So that should be good. I've also got some fans on the seedlings. I have these wireless USB fans and I've also got a fan over here that's a standing fan and this helps so that the mold doesn't grow on the tops of the soil which does happen if there's not enough airflow or if you overwater. Now when I do water these I wait until the the tops get really dry and then I just water from the bottom and that maybe every four or five days is when that's needed. That's pretty much it. So I'll leave them in here until they get to be about as big as these guys back here, maybe a little less. And then I'll get them repotted into some potting mix and bigger containers. And I'll be posting a video of that process when it happens. Thanks for watching.